Well, being a beauty queen can have its perks, but that doesn't mean there aren't challenges or disappointments. In 1969, then 19-year-old mm -hmm. college student Catherine Pope, she found that out. She's now Dr. Catherine Pope, the author of In Search of the Crown. Mm -hmm. Good morning, doctor. It's nice Good to, to see meet you. you. Good morning. Very so we nice. were discussing a little bit about this book. Can, can you explain to our viewers what's the book about? Well, the book is about um, my experience as uh, Miss Omaha, going, uh, setting out on that journey, um, going into the contest, expecting to uh, continue, really looking for a scholarship. Mm -hmm. That is one of, was one of my goals. And then finally entering into the Miss America pageant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, it was a time when a lot of uh, doors were opening and people were doing things to, to promote uh, a historical value and also to show that beauty comes in all shapes, sizes, mm -hmm. and colors. And I think this was from a modeling shoot, right, in the paper. Yes. <laughs> so you were at yes. 19 years old. Yes. All of a sudden life started to change a bit yes. for you. I was a professional model even uh -huh. at the time. What, uh -huh. Which one is you in this picture? Uh, it's, it's um, I, that away. was on the cover of the Parade magazine. Mm -hmm. And um, it was in 1969, and uh, there was a f football practice. Mm -hmm. And so we were modeling clothes for one of the major stores. And you're in the here middle of Omaha. Or? I'm on the on end. The, on, the right. I'm on the right. On the, the right side, okay. I'd like to right wear that side. to a football game yes, these days. Yes, yes. <laughs> <Catherine, that'd be laughs> well, you can see by the style uh -huh. and, and the, the slacks. I like the, the black era. pants. Frankly, I would wear those in 2015. <laughs> yeah, I think, yes. I think those outfits are relevant today. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, what inspired you to write this? Um, several things. Uh, one of the things was I noticed that my own family, my own children, grandchildren, uh, were not aware that I had actually been a beauty queen. Mm. And um, for whatever reason that was, and I decided that um, I needed to start putting into a chronicle of some of the events that took place mm -hmm. in, in my life and mm -hmm. to tell that story. Um, I was told that others were interested in telling the story and I said what better person to tell it mm -hmm. than me. And you started to look into your family history as well and what did you learn about yourself and it's not this book hardly just about this I, world of beauty pageants yes. but you talk quite a bit about civil rights. What yes. did you find as you were researching? Um, I found that one of the key things I found that I didn't know, I didn't know much about my own birth and my own life journey. And I, because people tend to keep secrets and they tend not to share things that are a little hard and difficult from the heart to share. But um, I decided to delve deeper and find out a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So I investigated some of those things. But one of the things I found out was how much my mother was involved in civil rights. Mm -hmm. And as early as the early uh, 1920s, mm -hmm. when oh, wow. she went before board here in Omaha in order to uh, try to make sure that there was public housing and housing for the less fortunate. Wow. And I thought, at that age, she was a very young woman to go before a board entirely of white males mm -hmm. and to speak her mind and to stand up for those that um, really, that she really didn't know. Mm -hmm. And they, they were poor uh, immigrants. They were white immigrants from uh, Europe. And they were also um, African Americans mm -hmm. who also migrated uh, from the South and found themselves um, living in wards. They called them wards mm -hmm. in those days. And it was exciting for me. Mm -hmm. It was exciting not just about my own family, but to learn about the history of Omaha. Mm -hmm. Omaha is a wonderful place and it's rich in history. In my family were some of those European immigrants that came in the 1920s mm -hmm. yes. and 30s as well. What's your message, I guess, in this book when you talk specifically about civil rights movement? My message in this book is to be truthful, mm -hmm. to, to speak the truth. Um, I had to make up my mind whether or not I was going to do that because I was put in a position where my voice could be heard. And so it was very important to me, even as young as 19, and I started as 18 because I was in the 1968 uh, beauty pageant, and I tried again. And um, your voice is, is very, very important, Not, and it, it only takes a ripple um, mm -hmm. to, make, to make a difference. And uh, Ralph Nader recently spoke about that, about the wage changes and things, and it was less than 1% of the people across mm -hmm. the country that made that change. Wow. So everyone, mm -hmm. everyone has an obligation 
to, to society to, to improve it, to make it a better place than the way they found it. It's beautifully said. Uh, Dr. Pope has five events upcoming. We'll tell you about two of them here, and then you can go to InSearchOfTheCrown.com to learn more about additional signings. On Friday, you'll be at UNO signing from 1 to 3 o'clock. That's a free event, but you're yes. welcome to go um, get books autographed there. Or on Sunday at the Bookworm, also free. That's from 1 to 4. But I'll tell you this, we have um, the, the ninth guest at each of those events will get a signed copy and a customized beaded bracelet. So if you're going, try to get there a bit earlier, uh, and then maybe you'll be that lucky ninth visitor to get the prize. Um, it's such a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. Really and truly. Thank you. Yeah, and, it's, and it's wonderful to be back home. Mm -hmm. yeah. it's wonderful. Glad Thank you're you, back. Catherine. Thank you for having Thanks me. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm. All right, in Omaha, we know what Support Blue is all about. How the, campaigns, the campaign is really going national right now. First. Magician Michael Carbonaro, a new season of his show starts tonight. We'll preview it when we return.